Hey guys, Striper Fishing South Carolina, and I'll show you a video of my Shimano bag that I got while I was in California. I've had this for a while, but I tried to upload this video and it didn't work, so I'm making another one. But let's go over it. So, that's the Shimano bag, and this is the biggest one they have. They got a small size and a big size pretty nice. Um, this is where I store my pliers and like hooks I was going to use that day. But uh, let's go over it. So this is missing a top rack. I already got the box out. But uh, so that's the box. And uh, they're pretty neat. I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't, uh, put any dividers in. I don't have hooks that small enough. So let's start with my, this is the top water box and I put it on, this for top water lures, but I put it on the top, I don't know why. But uh, I got a creek chub blue and white with uh, sparkles. 2500, uh, I think that's the size on it. Not sure. Sinking, I think all ch creek chubs sink, I'm not sure. Next is I got a blueback herring Sammy. This is new. I don't really use it that much. Haven't. Because I got a better Sammy I'll show you in a second. So that's a blueback herring. This chrome Sammy is phenomenal. As you can see, I mean it's the best one and best Sammy ever made. But as you can see, um, it's been hit to shit. I mean you can see teeth marks there, bite there, hit in the back. It blow. It's been destroyed by bass and stripers. It's been trashed. It's very good, very good. Best Sammy. Um, and I guess it's got a different noise to it than any uh, other ones. But uh, here's a Kelly J. It's got little. It looks like a herring when it's going across the surface. Got the props, like the little propellers. So when it's gone across the surface, it looks like bait fish getting uh, pushed by bass. And uh, it's got, it's a herring pattern. And you just reel it when it's pretty calm. Um, this is a weird story. But uh, I don't know why, but every time I walk the bag when I fish, I keep finding these red and white spooks. I, I, I don't understand, like... It must be good for striper or bass or something. I'm not sure. Like largemouth. I keep fi finding these. I found uh, two of them. I had to throw one away because the hooks are rotted. And, I, and the little metal pieces here are rotted out. So I wasn't going to mess with that. Um, but it's really good. I don't know why I keep finding them. So I'll have to ask someone about that. Or unless some of you guys who are watching this know. Last top water is my frog little thing. I like sorry about saying thing, but I don't know the brand. I think it's just some off brand you get in the case if you buy it like a Bass Pro Shop or Cabela's. Um but I've I've never used it. I've never really I don't I'm not too much of a top water guy, but if they're schooling in Sammy's and like pencil poppers, they're pretty good. Um I don't mind using it. That's it for top water box. Now I'll show you my spinners. I'm not even going to go with the spinners. I'll just let you see them because I got so many. Um, here. Uh, take this for a look. Okay, you can't really see that, can you? Yeah, I got a lot of spinners. My big ones are uh, my this killer for musky, which is I move, so I don't have any use for my uh, killer. I don't know all the small zeros, ones, two, three meps. All I use is basically meps because I trust them. They're good brands. Um, next one is. Sorry, um, um, sorry about that, uh, next one is swim baits, not like plastic, like hard, 
this one breaks. So this one, all right, here, I'll just show you the box in general first. Yet, yet again, no dividers. Um, but I'll show you. I got this from a fishing guide. He gave it to me for free. It's for striper. It looks kind of like a thread fin and herring. It's got a bite mark on the back when I was trolling. I didn't know it was hit. And I never caught one. It's just a bite mark. But uh, these are hand painted. And I figured out these are about 40 bucks. So once I figured that out, I was like, um. Like, I mean, he told me they're pretty expensive. But uh, it's like a deep diver for trolling. Or when the striper are really deep. Um, next one I got is a uh, 125 sinking uh, white per or just a perch yellow perch kinda or just a perch color you know Seville um, next this one's phenomenal for spotted bass and striper no, it's got some dirt in it but it's blue althea or, I mean not blue althea sorry there's this blue in there it's althea what do you do with these Seville's like whatever color you put a white gamakasu treble and I guess this really helps like a little bit more with uh, attracting the striper largemouth or whatever but usually you use Sabil on a windy day or else if you use it on a calm day kinda they can the fish can see the hooks and all that and it's more clear to them and you gotta reel it really fast but it's been hit pretty good like it's deteriorated um, if you wanna know again it's blue althea Alright, next one I got is um, Magic Swimmer, Swimmer 125. Um, I think this is Gold Shiner. I never really used this one at all, but uh, that's Gold Shiner. Another one, this thing is phenomenal. Uh, yet again, another phenomenal lure. <laughs> what do you know? But uh, this is, I think, just Shiner. And the size, I guess, I don't know. I can't, I guess because of the reflection, you can't really see the marks, but it's been hit to crap. I mean, I've caught a striper on it, like pretty big ones on this. And I've caught in largemouth and all that, fishing points with it. Next is a uh, Seville uh, 82. This thing's mini. These are really good for uh, fishing bass. I don't believe this, but. Uh, I broke one in half, <laughs> so only the head is there, so I have to take it to my store. The rest is just like fire tiger, like deep divers, rappelers, and all that crap. Alright, next one is jigs and whatnot. Um, jigs, I don't really have too much. This is more like a hooks box, but like see like hooks and like rigs um I actually I made my own doodle worm um it's pretty cool like I use a shaky head with them I don't know if you guys do for the bottom it just works a lot better like a spot remover that's what they're called but I made my own doodle worm so it's watermelon and uh disco violet zoom <laughs> so what I did is basically put a pen piece in there and then super glued it and it's I've gotten a lot of hits on it it's just since it's a doodle worm in the season I'm fishing in right now they can't really eat it and this these are wax wings from on wax wing lures and I ordered it here I'll just show you except for that eel that eel is not one there I got a lot wax wings I ordered a lot of them because they work really well or striper and largemouth looks like a clean fish, but the best for striper is either um, if I can get it unhooked here. Hold on one second. Is either sardine like that or sand eel. I mean, you could use chrome, but I don't know. Um, that's about it for that box. The rest is just hooks and weight sinkers, you know. Just a rig setups. Um, so basically, now I'll show you. So, that's zippered up.
Now, this is like line storage, I think, in this one. Yeah, just fishing line. Like, you know, like liters. 30 pound for big striper. Uh, 25 pound, just mono. Um, this side is just, this side is just crap. It's just, you know, dividers. This is just all my, uh, plastics and all that. I'm not gonna go over that, because there's just too much in there. It takes up too much of the video. But, thank you for watching, and comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.